Now, dear children, we will solve some numerical, important numerical from this chapter, superposition of wave number two. Okay. Now, let's start with problem number one. Now, this is actually a problem based on stationary wave. Now, question say that the equation of a stationary wave is y equals to 4 cos bracket pi x by 3 bracket close sine 40 pi t. Okay. Where x and y are in centimeter and t is in second. Now from here what we need to find out, determine the amplitude, comma, frequency and the speed of the progressive wave, producing it. And after that we also need to calculate what is the distance between the two consecutive nodes. Distance between two consecutive nodes. Now in order to solve this problem, we have, we have given what uh, the equation of stationary wave. Now I compare this equation with the standard equation of stationary wave. Now, in order to solve this problem, so I write the standard equation of stationary wave and the equation is y equals to 2a cos bracket 2 pi x by lambda bracket close sine 2 pi t by t. Okay, and this is the standard equation of stationary wave. And in this equation, if you see a, small letter a indicate the amplitude, capital uh, lambda, this is lambda, represent the wavelength and capital T indicate the time period of a wave. Okay, so with this equation, we can calculate the value of the amplitude, wavelength and all. But for that, I compare, I write on comparing, comparing equation 1 with the equation which is given. And the equation that given is what? Y equals to 4 cos bracket pi x by 3 bracket close sine 40 pi t. Now this equation I can write further as 2 into 2, 2, 4 can be written as 2 into 2, okay, cos pi x by 3 and sine 40 what, pi t. Now if I compare this standard equation with this equation, now we can clearly see that this 2 is matching. Now a is equivalent now to 2, so I write on a equals to 2 and this will be in what, centimeter which means your amplitude of the wave okay the amplitude of the wave is how much now 2 cm so 2 cm is the amplitude this is the amplitude of a wave now cos cos we can compare cos and cos then we have 2 pi x by lambda there is pi x by 3 so this x and x other than x and x if i compare then we can write 2 pi by lambda See, this 2 pi by lambda is equals to pi by 3. Equals to what? Pi by 3. So, other than this cos, cos and x and x, if I compare 2 pi by lambda, this 2 pi by lambda is equivalent to pi by 3. So, pi and pi cancel out. Now, if I cross multiply now, lambda equals to 2 into 3. Now, 2 into 3 means what? 6. Okay, 2 into 3 is how much? 6. And this is what? Centimeter. And this 6 cm is the wavelength, is the wavelength. Similarly, we can compare this sine and sine, since this sine and sine same. Now t and t is there. Now 2 pi by t is equal to 40 pi. So if I compare 2 pi by t is equal to what? 40 pi. So this pi and pi cancel out. So if I write, make t as a subject, I can write this way also. Uh, 1 by t equals to 40 by 2. So I write 1 by t in the denominator, uh, in the left hand side only, equals to 40 by this 2 will go in the denominator. So 220 is a 40. 220 is a 40, which means 1 by t equals to 20. But do you know what is 1 by 2? t, sorry. And 1 by t is nothing but frequency. So 1 by t is new, and this new is the what? Frequency. The frequency of the wave. Frequency of a wave. So, therefore, your frequency is how much? 20 per second. Or we can also write hertz. Because per second is also called hertz. So, what is the frequency of the wave that we calculated? That is called 20 per second or what? Hertz. Now, once you know the frequency, we can also calculate the speed of the wave. Because we know the frequency, we know the wavelength, and we calculate the speed. Now, since you know that, speed equals to frequency into wavelength okay i write that speed as b sorry b b is the what the speed of the wave 
B is the speed of, of wave. So to measure the speed, speed B equals to frequency into wavelength. So your frequency is 20, your wavelength is what? 6. 20 into 6 is how much? 120. And the unit is centimeter per second. So now see, what is the speed of the wave? 120 per centimeter per second. So I calculate the speed of the progressive wave also. Sorry, your simple, uh, stationary wave. Now the next thing that we need to calculate is the distance between the two consecutive nodes. And children, you know, distance between two consecutive nodes is always lambda by 2. Now we can easily calculate uh, the distance between two consecutive nodes as lambda by 2, always lambda by 2. And we, you know what is your lambda? 6 centimeter divided by 2 means how much? 3 centimeter. So the distance between two consecutive wave is, node sorry, is 3 centimeter. So this is one of the numerical based on the equation of what? Stationary wave. Now we will solve next number, numerical problem number 2 and this is actually a problem based on organ pipes, both open organ pipe and closed organ pipe. Okay. The problem says that if the length of an organ pipe 1 and 1 at both ends is how much? 0 0.5 meter. Okay. So length of an organ pipe, okay, 1 and this means uh, this question says that if the length of an organ pipe open at actually this part was missing okay open at one and one at both end is what 0 0.5 meter means this is the problem based on open organ pipe okay and the length of open organ pipe is 0 0.5 meter calculate the fundamental frequency of the pipe so we need to find the fundamental frequency of the pipe if the velocity of the sound in air is 350 meter per second so first problem this problem is for what open organ pipe open organ open organ pipe now for open organ pipe your length that is l is given how much 0 0.5 meter okay then uh, the velocity of sound that is b is given how much 350 meter per second okay now what we need to calculate we have to find the fundamental frequency and basically you know fundamental frequency is marked by letter new one i write on new one be the fundamental frequency now to calculate this fundamental frequency in an open organ pipe okay whose length and speed velocity are given we know the formula the formula is new one the fundamental frequency okay in open organ pipe is given by b by 2l see b new one equals to b by what 2l so let's up to the value b is how much 350 2 into l is how much 0 0.5 which means 350 by 0 0.5 into 2 means what? 1 only. Which means your fundamental frequency nu1 equals to 350 units per second or you can write hertz. So what is the fundamental frequency of an open organ pipe? That is 350 per second. Okay. Now the second part of the question says that uh, calculate the fundamental frequency of the pipe if the velocity. Okay. Now if one end of the pipe is closed. In this open organ pipe, if you close the one end of the pipe, then that uh, organ pipe will be a closed organ pipe. Because closed organ pipe uh, uh, is considered one end open, other end is what? Close. Then in, even in closed organ pipe, what will be the fundamental frequency? Now for closed organ pipe, the length is also same. Same organ pipe, but you are closing at one end. Then it becomes closed organ pipe. Okay. Now I do now for closed organ pipe. Close organ pipe because one end of the open organ pipe close means that organ pipe become the closed organ pipe but the length of the organ pipe is same that is 0 0.5 meter running the speed into the sound traveling this closed organ pipe is also same okay because the medium we are taking same now the frequency that we calculate that is called fundamental frequency will not be same okay now the fundamental frequency now can we calculate as no i don't therefore fundamental okay frequency of this closed organ pipe is given by okay new one and the formula is b by 4l so children this is what b by 4l so what is the frequency of formula to measure fundamental frequency of closed organ pipe b by 4l okay so b means same 350 by 4 into l is 0 point what 5 Okay, so if you do multiply, it will be how much? 350 by 
5 4 is at, uh, 5 4 is at 20, so it will be 2. So if you divide, it will be 2 1 is at 2, remaining 1, 2 7 is at 14, remaining 1 means 2 is 5 is at 10. So the frequency is coming, it's 175 per second, or you can also write what hertz. So what is the frequency of, fundamental frequency of this closed organ pipe? 175 per second or hertz. So this is one of the simple numerical based on organ pipe, both or, uh, open organ pipe and closed organ pipe. Now children, we will solve the last numerical problem, uh, problem from this chapter and we complete this chapter. So we will start uh, the last chapter. The last chapter we do only, only one chapter we do now uh, under unit number 10 and that complete uh, the syllabus, okay, uh, more or less for class 11, uh, class, okay, for class 11 syllabus, okay. Now, problem 3, we'll do solve problem 3, the problem 3 is also very simple, the problem 3 say that the component wave producing a stationary wave have amplitude, frequency and velocity as, the amplitude is 8 centimeter, frequency is 30 hertz and velocity is how much, 180 centimeter per second respectively write down the equation of the stationary wave so in this question we just need to write the equation of stationary wave where amplitude frequency and velocity of the wave are given now in order to solve this question let me just write down amplitude the, uh, the component which are given one is amplitude frequency and velocity of the wave now amplitude as i said is similar to the a and amplitude as per the question given 8 centimeter Frequency similar to the new or can be similar to small letter n also that is 30 hertz and small letter b is the velocity of the wave that is given 180 centimeter per second. Okay, now once this frequency is given, I also calculate time period. I calculate even what time period. Now, can time period is capital T and you know time period and frequency are simply reciprocal to each other. Okay, so 1 by your frequency is how much 30, so 1 by 30. Now you know 1 by 30 uh, can be written as as uh, 1 by 30 only but what I do I just write 1 by t. If t is 1 by 30 then 1 by t means 30 only. 30. Okay. And this is what per second. So look at it. So then 1 by t means the time reciprocal time period is 30 per second. Now why I am writing this way because I am going to put this value of 1 by t directly in the equation. Now from here we can write the equation of what is to any wave and you know what is the standard equation since I don't the standard equation the standard equation of stationary wave okay what wave stationary wave is actually given by what y equals to what the equation is what 2a cos okay 2a what cos bracket 2 pi x by lambda and sine and the formula is what 2 pi and I don't bracket 2 pi small letter t by capital letter t so this is the standard equation of stationary wave now let me just substitute the value okay let me just substitute the value but before I substitute the value children I need to even calculate the wavelength because wavelength lambda is wavelength we don't know wavelength but we can calculate the wavelength now since speed equals to frequency into wavelength then your wavelength equals to speed by frequency. But look at this, this wavelength is in the denominator. So can I just reciprocal 1 by lambda equals to frequency by speed. Okay, so because I can put directly 1 by lambda as frequency by speed. Okay, now what is uh, what is the value? Okay, so frequency is how much? Your frequency is how much? Uh, 30. Your speed is how much? 180. So 0, 0, cancel out. 3 1 the 3 3 6 the 18 so it's coming 1 by 6 and it's per centimeter the unit is what per centimeter now we can substitute this value in the relation so therefore i don't y equals to 2 a a means how much 8 cos this is 2 pi x into 1 by lambda okay let me write this way only just breaking this one 2 pi x into 1 by lambda and i write on sine this also I write on 2 pi similar t into 1 by t. Now the reason I am writing this way because 1 by t and 1 by lambda value I substitute directly. So 2 8 just 16 cos 2 pi x into now 1 by lambda. See 1 by lambda value is how much? 1 by 6. 
okay then sine 2 pi smaller t and 1 by t value is how much 30 so let's calculate now 2 1 0, 2 2 3 0, what 6 is coming 16 cos pi x pi x by 3 then sine 2 30 just 60 60 and this is pi t so you see the value is y equals to 16 cos yes 16 cos pi x by 3 sine 60 pi t and this is the this is the equation of progressive wave, stand, uh, stationary wave this is the required answer that means this is the equation of what wave stationary wave stationary what wave so with this numerical uh, we have completed the chapter superposition of wave number two as i said already we will start new chapter the last chapter we do under unit number 10 okay uh, that is vibration and stress uh, strings uh, stress string sorry that we do from the next class thank you so much